Denzel, but before you wrap up, I just, I have to say, brother, like I've never experienced an event like this. So I just want to thank you for one, hosting the event. And then two, I just want to let you know that you have inspired me to give even more, give even harder because I've never, like I said, I've never experienced this. I think it's amazing for one to be able to say that you're a giving person and then being able to bring all these people together and say, hey, who needs this? Who needs that? Who needs this? Like, I, I feel like I'm an, at an auction for giving. <laughs> this is amazing. Just keep doing what you're doing, brother. And please let us know when the next one is so that we can make sure that we, we can continue to give. Oh yeah, I, I can't wait. You know, I, I just want to radically shift how people respond yep. to how they give yep. and how they receive, you know, yep. so even the people that are in here are on the receiving end. I also want to encourage you, how can I give back, you know, and because I've, I've had so many clients in the past where because I've never done this before. It's my first one. When I would just do one-on-one -on -one calls with my with my clients, I had this one guy um, who consistently for I want to say, okay, so he's given personally to me almost five thousand dollars. He's he's just here, Denzel, here, Denzel, here, Denzel, here, Denzel, and this is a guy that I might have talked to him at least four times. I mean, he's, he makes a lot of money, lives out in California. When I first met him, had a ton of debt, just came across Velocity Banking, was working with him. And this was before when I really wasn't that good at Velocity Banking, but like I was still able to help him, support him. And he just like got so many results. He got like a, a HELOC to combat his mortgage. This is pre-COVID, pre-interest rates at like two and 3%. This is when they were like four and five and six and seven, like the, you know, it was like, there was like interest rates around that. And it's not that long ago, like 2018, 2019 home, I was dealing with clients that had home interest loans, uh, 30 year mortgages at 5%, you know, 5.5, almost six, you know, I think the highest one I seen was like six and a quarter. I was like, damn, you know, and then, and then now we're in 2021. And if you have a 6% mortgage, I mean, you better get out of that right now, right? Because the rates are like three and two. Um, but with that being said, here, this guy, literally on my Patreon page, he gave $397 a month religiously for like 13 months straight. And I, and I would reach out to the guy. I'm like, hey, what, like, how can I help? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm like shocked. I'm like, why is he doing that? And I realized, I'm like, wait, this is how God works. It's you give, and then some person over here just feels it on their heart to give to you. And so you create this system where it's an infinite amount of resources. So when you, when you have this mindset now that not only am I receiving, but I also have the power to give, it's more blessed to give than it is to receive not to discount the receiver. We need to receive things. We need resources. We need money to operate. So you need to be perfectly fine with accepting money, right? I tell my clients that are just starting out business, I'm like, you need to have a PayPal. You need to have a cash app, a Zelle. You need to make it as easily as humanly possible for people to send you money and to sow seed into your household, into your kingdom. You don't wanna block somebody's blessing you need to drop that pride. You need to drop that ego and be willing to receive as much as humanly possible that you can, you know, handle. Uh, and then also be a giver. And you will see like the amount of resources. You're like, my God, it just doesn't stop. Because you have this infinite, almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful being that is operating with infinite resources. It doesn't run now. So you've got that backup, and then here you are on planet Earth. You're just a good steward. That's all you're doing, just steward, stewardship, encouraging people to think big, think differently, take risk, 10x. And so I really like that you, you shared that testimony, Carmen. It's really great.